Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to look at doing a front brake job on a Hyundai Genesis. This is a 3.8 2012 model. I don't know if it's similar for other Hondas, but we'll go through how to replace the rotor and the pads. First thing you have to do is remove the wheel, get the car, you know, get the car safely on jack stands and remove the wheel. Once you remove the wheel, you can come down here and you'll see three Phillips head bolts or nuts on the rotor you don't want to take those out a regular screwdriver usually won't work so you need to get one of these impact type screwdrivers and hit it with a hammer and back these out so get all three of those out first all right after you remove the three phillips head screws in there you want to remove this 10 millimeter brake line bracket that goes on the controller arm and get that out of the way after lines disconnected, there's two 17 millimeter bolts that connect the whole caliper to the knuckle. Remove those. All right, once you remove the two 17 millimeter bolts, the brake line is long enough for you to allow the caliper to sit on the ground as long as the vehicle's not jacked up too high. Get something underneath there to protect the paint on the caliper, and the rotor slides right off. <laughs> All right, once you have the rotor off, clean the face of the hub and either replace or turn the rotor. Okay, we got our freshly turned rotor back on. You see we have our Phillips head bolts back in. Now we're going to take the caliper and mount it back to the spindle with 17 millimeter bolts. Okay, now that we got the caliper assembly back on, we're going to go around to the front here, and we're going to remove these two pins. This one and this one, the little clips. Pull those clips out and slide these pins straight out. Okay, once you have the slide pins and the uh, little cotter pins in the end removed, you should be able to slide the pads out just like I did. And we're going to go ahead and get a C-clamp on each one of these ears to compress down the pad. So as you can see, it's extremely easy. We have the C-clamp clamped on the caliper ear and the ear of the pad, and it pushed both sides down. So you're gonna slide the pad out and replace it with a new pad, making sure you pay attention to what size the pad material and what size not, because they'll go in either way. Okay, when you got both pads in, you wanna go ahead and just start the top pin, slide it through, and put the cotter pin back through it. Okay, once you have the top pin in, you put the brake hardware in, hook it, and then press it down right here and put your other pin through. All right, once you got your bottom pin in, make sure both cotter pins are in on top and bottom there. Go ahead and spin the rotor and just make sure you don't have no metal to metal contact with this clip right in there. Put your wheel back on and you're done with the front brakes.